Hey y'all, welcome back for another episode of the Owner Operator Series here in New Edge Simulation. Today, we are not in Williams Lake. We are actually in Prince George. Uh, we went to pick up the Z35K and they told us it's a no-go. They need the machinery. So they sent us up Prince they sent us up to Prince George uh, to the UPS Center because this Cat 4, uh, 422E was needing to be delivered to Fort Nelson, British Columbia. So that's what we're doing. Currently got everything loaded up just now. Ready to go. It's a 584 mile drive. And it's going to pay us about $2,511. So in this way this load weighs in at 50,706 pounds so okay here we go go ahead and let the truck warm up while we do our pre-checks real quick just check everything out and we got about six and a half hours of drive time so I'm gonna say that we're gonna have to find somewhere to rest And we got no options. So, um, let's see, man. Let's see how many miles, how, how much time we got? Six hours. Yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna have to stop in Dawson, uh, Dawson Creek here. Stop at that service center. Yeah, that probably that looks like our best bet because uh, there's time to hit. There's the nothing road. else out there, so. One thing I gotta do real quick is check our mileage. We're at 9,202 miles. So it shouldn't be too bad of a drive. to find something that actually pays though because I honestly thought we were going to be making this drive pro bono turn right I'll say it is kind of nice not to be hauling that 100,000 pound dozer around. So I can't say I'm too upset about that. Get ready to turn right. So that turn was kind of a pain. I went ahead and edited all that mess out. Lots of uh, 13 point turn maneuvers to make that turn. That was pretty bad. Note for next time, if we have to deal with that intersection again, We'll sit until there's no traffic coming. But we got through it, so. Be 
yeah, so, uh, should be in Dawson Creek here in about two hours. It would be nice to see if we could make the full drive, but I, I know we can't. Really, I'm kind of basing everything off 50 miles an hour. We'd have to go 100 miles an hour to make it, so play it safe. We have yet to see any speed limit signs. not. seen anything out of Niles in a while. If, uh, if we don't get an update on him, we'll check him out before, uh, when, once we get to Fort Nelson. really slick here. We're gonna we're gonna back her down a little bit. That was a little rough. That was a lot rough. Oh yeah, uh, road is very slick. Did not really see that coming, but something to be aware of. About told this thing twice. get to Dawson Creek. I don't really feel comfortable doing 75 mile an hour, so... I mean, 
mean, I know we need... I don't know how long steers are good for, but... I would imagine they still should be good. as a bozo but it's working out for him I guess all right we got four hours of drive time so we should make it there by then even at our reduced speed Pick up a little speed here just because I don't see any sharp turns directly in front of us. So Niles just brought home $1,582, and he's leveled up. Go Niles. We got plenty of time to get this there, so I'm not that worried. in front of us just disappeared man blew us in the dust or left us in the dust but that's fine we are not going to be in that big of a hurry it's a 
huge pothole. <laughs> right in the center of the road. Looks like the rain's finally starting to let up a little bit. So that's nice. figured as far up north as we are we'd see some northern lights or something. Ooh, might be too cloudy. got an hour to Dawson. I think we'll be fine there. We definitely have enough fuel. 
Yeah, we got 900 miles worth of fuel left. Dawson Creek. Not the show, but the town. Like he's gonna go for it. I was gonna let him. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. kind of strange how they only got one place to rest here and it's in one of those very tight service centers. <laughs> of the road or something. Like if there's a shoulder I might just leave it there so we can get in and out of the service center easier. Which it doesn't look like there is. I mean there's well that cop sitting would have been nice. Don't really see. Yeah, I don't really see anywhere else, so. All right, so I'm just gonna get in here the best we can. I tried to de-hook, I, I tried to unhook and leave the trailer sitting there, but it won't let me pick it back up, so I had to come back and do this all over again. But we'll just park like this, I guess. All right, we're here. We uh, have 25 minutes left spare, so now is as good a time as any for us. Go ahead and get some rest. All right, we made a loan payment. It is Saturday afternoon. We need to get back on the road. So we'll go ahead and check out where I need to back up before we, uh, since the truck needs a warm up anyways. 
probably back it straight up and just try to get out and go left rather than try to make a UE out of here turning right. Seems like it'll probably be the easiest thing to do. Luckily there's like no cars or trucks around us, so... I don't think there's anything we can hit on either side at the moment. So I think we should be good. Yeah, normally I try to avoid these these spots. Not very friendly for a uh, truck and trailer. about getting right. fuel because I think we actually have enough Turn right. to get us for a while. I don't think we have enough to get to Alaska, but I don't think we I don't think we're too far off. straight on. I gotta say is getting up getting up there to Alaska better be worth it <laughs> now I've seen like no gameplay of Alaska so I have no idea what to expect Dig it. Get ready to turn right. Turn right and then turn left. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping to figure out what the mod issues turn are. Left. There's a lot in Canada we could explore. I think it's the great the great mid north that's messing up. We'll see. Two 
267 miles left to go. My guess is we'll be there about four hours. So, I say seven o'clock. straight on. Come on, Grandpa. Go straight on. There we go.
boring drive. There's absolutely nothing up here but trees. Luckily we're in the home stretch, we should be about two hours out. Really surprised we haven't seen any snow. get our thumbnail up here shortly probably when we pull into uh, Fort Nelson just because there's not really anything out here uh, specific Just over 50 miles left. It's about what I figured, 7 o'clock.
also. So it doesn't look like there's any scenery specific to Fort Nelson. So we'll probably just go straight on. We'll do our thumbnail before we uh, drop it off. And that'll pretty much do it for this video. We'll see if uh, Lenar has a load we could take and if they do I'll uh, I'll get that hooked up off video if not we'll uh, find something else I'm still gonna have plenty of drive time about nine hours worth Get ready to turn left. she be pretty nice facility I'll tell you what I'm ready for this $2,500 payday Put us just over Finally. thirty six thousand dollars. So right. let's see where they want it. They want it under the awning. Just about figured out. Most of them do. Once in a blue moon, you'll get them where they want them over here on the left, but. Most of these Lennar facilities are pretty close to the same. Excuse me. Try to get the trailer as straight with the truck as possible. It's pretty close. I need to look. Yeah. Need 
need to hug that building a little tighter. There we go. Now if I straighten it up, we should be money. I need to find that mod that changes the box from white to green. Yeah, crooked as hell. Not far off. But Still crooked, but better. Close enough, I bet they take it. Okay, they are happy with that. So we're going to go ahead and check our mileage real quick. We're sitting at 9,795 miles. So a lot of driving today. Let's say 9,795 miles. Yep. All right. And then today is Saturday. All right. So it's April 22nd. I wonder if we can finish a month out with. Uh, it'd be a stretch to hit 50. We're going to be $15,000 short and have about 10 days, 9 days to get there. Alright, let's shut her down and get paid. So we've consumed 109 gallons of diesel fuel. Drove 595, 594 miles. Got uh, 1,557 XP and 2,511 dollars. We look at company job offers. What do they have? Can't bother ourselves with that. Yeah, that's what sucks. So, Stuart. Yeah, so this area of the map is not going to work properly. Because I would love to do it. I know. Mm. I might do that one. But I would not be able to hit the escape. Because the mod will crash. So I wonder if I, it's only 283 miles. I might try that one. And if it don't work, we'll just drive straight through. Like we got a lot of driving to do. So. All right, so I tried to take the job and it crashed. So, uh, we're not going to take that job. What I'll probably do is offline, I will drive us straight to Alaska. If we look on a map. Because you can see how it says Alaska over here. Well, it did. Well, it will on the map. Anyways, uh, these territories do not show up. They're broken somehow. So... Uh, from here to talk 
actually it looks like that's going to be so it's a thousand miles to pretty much Alaska so that's what we're going to do so I'll probably do that off video um, that'll get us exploring Alaska and hopefully by the time we're done here we'll be able to find a job that will take us back to the lower 48 that's kind of what I'm hoping for so uh, I appreciate you guys sticking by me for this one this one was a little rough it is our 50th episode so hooray to that uh, lots of editing to do in this one but uh, yeah once again thanks uh, as always stay safe out there keep it shiny side up and I'll catch you on the flip side see ya